Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Aaron. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of the final, yes. final, not the season finale, <laughs> but the series yes. finale of Breaking Bad. That's yeah. it. There's no more. No more Felina. It's done. Last yeah. episode. Yep. Uh, and, and it was highly anticipated. Everybody's waiting to see it. So, um, what are your initial thoughts? Those thoughts are great. I think mm -hmm. it's it ended the way it needed to. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe, you know, later we'll talk about this, you know, maybe where it goes down is how good of a series it actually is as compared maybe to some of the greats you know, maybe mm -hmm. later on. Uh, but it was great. I think it ended the way it needed to. I thought uh, every moment was great. It was tense. You know, I didn't know it was going to happen. I was, uh, yeah, just a lot of anticipation. I mean, it did what it, a good finale should do. You know, I mean, this isn't lost. This isn't <laughs> like, there's no like high concept thing that needs to be solved like the mm -hmm. mystery. It's just a story about people, especially two people, which we see the importance of this episode is Jesse and Walt. Yeah. I mean, Skylar and they're around doing their thing, but the story is Jesse and Walt. You know, yeah, I thought journey. it was really fitting. Mm -hmm. I think it was well done. And and uh, while there weren't really any big surprises, no. it was it was all, there was like little surprises right. here and there, mm -hmm. but it was definitely nothing that was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's so shocking, right, you know? Right. But it was more like, oh, that makes sense. And, right, yeah. And, and that, you know, that fits into that person's character right. and whatnot. And so I thought it was a good send-off, you know? Right. So many times you have series that, that end, you know, either, you know, badly or right. at least controversially. Mm -hmm. right. I don't think this is one that's no. going to cause people to be upset yeah, why they do that that was stupid it's yeah like, no. there might be some people who are like uh oh i wanted more or mm -hmm. i wanted something else to happen right. but i don't think there's anything in this finale to be like oh my god right, right. you know it's not like hank like rose from the grave and shit. right <laughs> and i think the show has an advantage it's not like you said it's not a high concept uh, show it's not lost it's not Battlestar galactic mm -hmm. or it has to wrap up this like huge arc i mean it's the it ended with with Jesse and Walt, mm -hmm. you know, facing off in, in a way, even though it wasn't the face off might thought it would have been. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think it just, it was great. I mean, maybe we should start, you know, going to the beginning and looking okay, at Okay, yeah, yeah, the beginning of the episode, we kind of have see uh, Walt trying to get into yeah. that car. Mm -hmm. And I actually didn't think this scene was exactly necessary because right, yeah. we had assumed already from the last episode that when they went to the bar and he wasn't there, right. that he was gone. There's and really then, no suspense because you know he gets back home yes. eventually. So it's like, we know he makes yes. it. Yeah, yeah. But I did like the gas station scene. I mean, he, not only because he was calling uh, for the Schwartz mm -hmm. to find out where he was, mm -hmm. but I liked it because when the car pulls up, you'll see the license plate for New Hampshire. Yeah. And the motto is live it's free or die, die. Yeah, which, great. you know, is foreshadowing to what's going to happen. That with was Walt, great. Yeah. Which is, you know, either he can live free. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. he will die, which, right. and most likely, you know, we thought he was going to die. I thought. He was going to poison himself right. with rice. Or the cancer would get him at some point. Yeah, yeah. Something was yeah. going to kill him, right. So what did you think of the scene where uh, Walt uh, breaks into the, the Swartz's house, Elliot and Gretchen? It was great. I mean, it has the elements of Breaking Bad that we love. It mm -hmm. has the suspense, but also, of course, we find this out later, that dark humor, of course, getting to see, you know, Skinny Pete and... Mm -hmm. uh, Badger. A Badger. That was great. But I like that... Because I think... We think this episode, when he has that big gun, he thinks he's going to go Scarface. It's going to be mm -hmm. a Scarface moment. He's like, say hello to my little friend, <laughs> start wasting everybody. But he didn't kill him. No. Uh, I don't think he was going to kill him. I mean, maybe if they said no, maybe I don't know what he would have done. But I mean, he wasn't planning to go kill them, you know? No. And I thought that was a great scene. I mean, he needed to get back at him some way. He needed to get that last, I don't want to call it the last laugh, but like get over them on something. Mm -hmm. It's like, look, you kind of owe me this. Yeah. Like, I created, they, I created yeah, they, this company. I created the company that you are making like a billion dollars off, however much money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm guessing hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah he got, kind of got screwed out of that. And, right. And uh, didn't get his proper, I guess, you know. Right. So it's like, you need to do this for me. Like, this should be your, like, saying I'm sorry yeah. you know yeah. it wasn't a big surprise though that it wasn't real sharp shit. Right. you know like hitman right. like you kind of knew when the infrared things came up that right. it was I didn't know it was uh, skinny Pete and Badger no but no, I knew right. it wasn't like right. real hitman yeah. like it was just some I actually thought it was a machine that he was right. you know kind of like how the one he did for his car with, with the, the key, machine yeah, gun right. uh -huh. I thought he actually had done that with the infrared he sold thing. it I mean he sold it yeah. he, he knows how to deliver a line he sold it but yeah no it wasn't I think that was, it was a good moment I mean it's nice to see those characters who we saw much earlier. And I, I, I know some people have recently, um, you know, just caught up by binge watching yes. on Netflix. And I haven't done that. Uh, I think I rewatched the first part of season five uh, a little while ago. But uh, it's been so long since I've even seen these characters in an episode yeah. that it's kind of uh, nice to see them back, how they're bringing that whole story together. That's what I want to give Breaking Bad credit for. I think it has one of the tightest narratives 
of any show over a five season period that I've seen. Like it just it holds everything. Together. Everything was for a reason. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a lot wasted. I thought Walt mm -hmm. intrudes on uh, Lydia yeah. and uh, Todd's That's little great. rendezvous. Yeah. Need to stop using that stevia. I mean, that, ste that stevia will kill you. That <laughs> stevia is rough. Well, that sugar, no. Well, um, I thought, I was like, okay. I was like, Lydia needs to, to, to get bumped off. I mean, right. her character, I've mentioned this many times. I'm like, she's a very annoying mm. character. Yeah. You know, she's just kind of, she's very selfish and mm. like everything she wants, like she, she tries to like, does but she doesn't want to like even think about the consequences or even right. think about like to feel guilt about right. it she just wants it done you know just kill that person just right. kill that person yeah so she's kind of in a way less feeling than even walt or right. or gus or like anyone yeah. anyone yeah, else she's sure. like no, no no i don't even want to think about it don't tell me about it right you know? yeah um so it was kind of nice in a, in a in the context of the television show mm -hmm. not in real life to see that she got slipped the rice yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, I love, I mean, it's kind of skipping ahead here, but I like, you know, when Walt was talking to Skylar, he said, you know, almost, you know, Michael Corleone moment, Godfather, you know, tonight I'm going to take care of all the family business. And yeah. he did. He, Skylar was worried about that somebody was going to come after them in the future. And he's like, ain't nobody coming after you tonight, girl. Like, <laughs> he, I mean, when Walt sets out to do something, he does it. And he, yeah. he goes all the way. So, yeah. And uh, so <laughs> speaking of Skylar, um, yeah, it was a nice moment. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously Marie's like still frantic trying to. Right. You know, she's still angry, you know, about the whole situation because right. she still hasn't seen Hank's body. Mm -hmm. I mean, she pre she's probably like pretty sure he's dead, but right. she's still holding on to that little bit of hope. And, and, and she's so scared. I love, I actually really like Skylar. Maybe one of my favorite moments I've ever seen Skylar. And again, I know people, a lot of people have been defending her because of her Newsweek mm -hmm. article and her Emmy Awards, mm -hmm. but I still think she wasn't a well written character. Mm -hmm. Again, nothing against Anna Gunn. I just didn't think they wrote her character very well, but I liked her in this scene because. She wasn't intimidated by him. She's like, you have five minutes. She just kind of looked at him and was just smoking her cigarettes, just numb to everything. She's like, you have five minutes. Like, well, talk. even still, though, she still has feelings for right. him. Because she knows, like, you look like crap. You know, you yeah. look awful. Like, he, she's just worried about It's not about black him. and white. It's, no. it's a situation, yes, he's done all these horrible things. Right. He's, you know, basically kind of destroyed their family. Um, but she still cares for him. You can see, even in that mm -hmm. coldness you can still see she lets him see the, the, the baby right yeah for, for five minutes, you know. She knows that he's well not a good person. <laughs> yeah, I see like a tear go down her eye. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's still they made that baby together. That's their child. I mean, yeah, and you can't you don't just lose all those feelings even the person becomes a crazy meth dealer. Yes. You know, yeah. <laughs> you don't lose those. So that that was a that was a nice uh, send off. I think it is interesting to know that we he never got another moment with... Uh, Walt Jr. He has Walt Jr. with Flynn. Flynn. Yeah, I never saw Well, because he knows that saw he... Saw him, but didn't. Because he knows that he would immediately start yelling and screaming right. and kind of <clears throat> ruin all the plans. Exactly. So that's why he didn't do it. Um, also, he you know he gave uh, Skylar the, the coordinates to yep. Hank's body so that she could trade that to get... Them e free of whatever. Free or right. less time or whatever, right. you mm -hmm. know? And, and, you know, and by the end of the episode, we know that... that that Walt is, you know, dead lying in, in yeah. the, mm -hmm. the middle of the meth lab. So he's going to... That gonna... should clear. That should help a little bit. Yes. Scott had nothing to do with I wasn't a part of that. Yeah. Okay, and now to the big, you know, finale yeah. scenes, which is uh, Walt meeting up with, with mm. those, you know, those Nazis and Todd, right. Todd's whole crew, mm -hmm. because they know... He knows that when he's going there, that they're, they're going to kill him right i mean he yeah. knows that he mm -hmm. knows that 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 whole deal thing about the i'm gonna you know make meth without methylamine which mm -hmm. he knows they're not gonna take it no. i don't even think it's even possible i think right. he just probably just made that stuff right. up yeah. Yeah. so he'd meet up with them mm -hmm. and uh and you know take care of business right yeah settle all scores and it was i mean you know, as much as I want to say, like, that was a, it was a cool scene. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the invention he did, but that's not, you know, what the episode is about. I mean, no. the shootout. But, I mean, it was cool. Obviously, he's the invention. He, him in the desert kind of making yeah. the... Yeah. No, it's cool. So, they kind of, cool. you know, it wasn't a huge surprise <clears throat> no. when that happened right. or it's anything cool. like that. But, I mean, the scene when it got real was when you kind of wanted to see what Jesse was going to do. Of course, you, as soon as you see Todd duck mm -hmm. when the first bullet goes, you know that he's going to at least survive past the initial mm -hmm. bombardment. And then after that, of course, seeing Jesse strangle him... That was cool. Then seeing Jesse just wanted to get free. I mean, it was just all that stuff going on. And then Hank, you know, dealing with uh, Todd's uncle. 
and taking him out. There's a lot Maybe going Walt. on. Or sorry, Walt. Sorry, yeah, Hank. Yeah, <laughs> Hank. poor Hank. We want Hank. Poor Hank. He's gone. Uh, Walt dealing with uh, Todd's uncle. Yeah, it was just there's a lot going on in that scene. Yeah, and also you finally get not total redemption, but Walt does save Jesse. Yeah, he, 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 he tackles him. Yeah. He tackles yeah. him on purpose to make it. He's like, oh, I'm going to pretend. He pretends that I'm he's. I'm mad at you. I'm going to fight you. Yeah, yeah right, but really, yeah. He's, he's saving his right. life so he can kill everyone else. And the reason Todd survives is because he's trying to, like, break them up. Right, yeah. And everyone else gets, yeah. you know, slaughtered. So it's kind of a small redemption for Walt. And Jesse know? got to, you know, kill Todd, which I don't think he had any remorse over doing. No. As I mean, opposed he, to, like, was it Gail? He killed, uh, you know, um, well, because uh, he had nothing against Gale. Right, with yeah. Todd, he he knows Todd killed that right. little kid mm -hmm. on the bicycle yep. during the the train heist, the yep. methylene heist. He knows Todd killed uh, the girl, yeah. his yeah. Uh, ex girlfriend. Right, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and so to him, like he wants to mur he wants to oh, murder yeah. Todd. And he's been there for months now, yeah. and just and he's yeah. He, he, I mean, so it was good. I mean, I think and. You know, in the end, of course, when they, they get out and they have the little standoff, I think, you know, Jesse can see that he's bleeding out and, you know, he's, he's not going to make it that easy for him. I think that was a good answer. He said, you know, if you want to do this, like, do it yourself. You know, you admitted to me that you want to die, you know, do it man up and do it yourself. And then Jesse sees that Walt's injured, so he knows that either Walt is either going to die from the right, injury, right, yeah. the police are going to get him. Right. And three, there's probably a small part of him that realizes that Walt did spare him because he easily could have just ducked himself right. and let... Jesse die, but I think that was Walt's way of saying goodbye to Jesse. And I, I assume, even though it's hard to tell with distances, but I assume Jesse overheard the phone conversation to mm -hmm. somewhat, because I think once he hung up and threw the phone away, then they looked at each other. I don't know if he did hear it. Mm -hmm. We're talking to Liddy about the rice and all that, and um, but then they kind of looked at each other and you know kind of did the whole. Thing. <laughs> yeah, like I don't think this show. It, I mean, Vince Gilligan's not. I mean. I don't think he means that they made peace. I don't think it's, it's that's too comp it's too much yeah, drama yeah. between them, but they at least had an understanding. Yes. Like, look, I'm probably not going to survive this. This is probably it. You know, Jesse's free. Yeah. And because this show, too much has happened. I mean, these people have done some horrible things. You can't have a nice, neat, tidy ending. Jesse might be free, but he's crazy. I yeah. mean, dude's screaming and yelling, yeah. happy and sad all at the same time. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I really, I really enjoyed the ending. Yeah, yeah. It was good. And, you know, obviously at the end, Walter goes to the meth lab yeah. and kind of like. I thought he was going to get one more cook in. I thought they were going to That's show him, what I, I thought. thought too. I thought he was going to finish the batch and then die. Yeah, I that's thought he was going to put on the, like, right. the, the suit, right. the hazmat suit, yeah. and put yeah. on the goggles and everything. Right. I thought he was going right. to. You know, yeah, I also thought he was going right. to do one last cook and then have the cops come in while he's like right. finishing up a batch or something like that. Because I liked what Skyler said uh, during the. Um, you know, when they were talking, Skyler, uh, when he admitted that he had done all for him. He said, yeah, they like, did it for me because I liked it. He said he felt like he was alive yeah. doing it. So one time he felt like he was alive. I think it's, <clears throat> it kind of re replaces that void he has from losing out on the, the mm -hmm. Gray Matters, the big right. company. And so this was his thing mm -hmm. that he built himself and right. that he was good at. And, and that, I think, is the same thing with Jesse's, uh, his little like fantasy dream of uh, himself in the wood shop yeah, building like the, the box like was that. basically like, wow, like, could have you know this which would have been a much happier life for me right something i could have something been simple something something he could be proud of like oh i could do this right instead you know and that's what the show has done i mean it shows just shows what you know greed and you know vanity just chasing after that one more mm -hmm. thing i mean walt never needed all this no. stuff i mean even if he was couldn't afford the medical bills i mean they would have made it somehow he had a loving family he had kids that mm -hmm. loved i mean he had everything he had a brother-in-law that supported yeah. him, even though he made fun of him, but he still supported him. I mean, he had everything he needed. And, I mean, all these guys just kept chasing and chasing for that one more thing. And in the end, it just it destroyed all of them. I mean, even Jesse, you could say he got away free, but his life, I mean, yeah, I mean his he's, lives are never oh, going to yeah. be the same. I mean, their lives They're are They're living in a shitty little yeah. place. Right. You know, um, they got to live that for the rest of their lives. They had know? to change their name right. so that they don't, you know, are associated. Mm -hmm. But you know, right. eventually people are going to find out, yeah. and they have to live with that. Um, you know, who knows what kind of problems the the baby girl is going to have yeah, when, when she grows she gets up, older, right? Yeah, and learns about her dad right. and stuff like that. So, so that's what I liked about it. I mean, they kind of kept some hopeful moments, but you always knew that like it wasn't quite right. I mean, even with the money, it's like. Just because the kid's going to get $9 million or whatever he's going to get from the people doesn't mean his life's going to be good. Yeah. You know, it's still going to be messed up. So yeah. I think they held on. Gilligan and his team did a good job of holding on to 
the consequences of living a life like that and how it affects everybody around them. Yeah, good. yeah. And, and how it touches people who are kind of uh, guilt-free, like right. a Walt Jr., right. you know, mm-hmm. and the Holly, the, the baby, yep. baby girl. Mm-hmm. Like, those two are guilt-free, mm-hmm. but they're going to suffer some of the right. later ramifications of, of what Walt did, and, and to a smaller degree, mm-hmm. what Skylar did. I was going to ask you just before we f- finish, and wh- where do you put this? I mean, I know it's still early, I mean, it's got to marinate mm-hmm. a little bit, but amongst your your favorite shows of all time. I mean, as a narrative, like, how do you think the story wrapped up over five seasons? Uh, I think it's uh, pr- pretty up there. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably like top ten, top ten. I think. I'm not one of those people who run around and go, Breaking Bad's the best show right, ever made. Right. I know mm-hmm. a lot of people do, and th- that's mm-hmm. great. For me, personally, I have other shows above it. Mm-hmm. Um, there were certain little wonky stuff that happened, especially in season three. Yeah, was season a, three was, yeah. Right. Yeah, where it mm-hmm. get a little too cartoony for right, me, yeah. you know? But I definitely love the way that they wrapped up mm-hmm. the series. And having a, a finale that, 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 you know, was satisfying and, and wrapped up a lot of stuff. Right. I'm not a person that needs everything wrapped up, you know? Right, no. So, because mm-hmm. I know some people do when they mm-hmm. watch a, a finale for a certain show. It's like, if they don't, you know, tie up every single loose right, end, yeah. they get upset, you know? I'm not one of those people, so, but I know that there are some out there, and I, I don't think Breaking Bad can be faulted for that. Mm-hmm. No, I think it's good. I think it has, one for me, one of the better, like I was saying earlier, one of the better narratives that everything mm-hmm. kind of comes together and they use everything. It, the show, someone phrases, I can't take credit for this, someone else said this, but the show never really needed a restart, mm-hmm. you know, like a loss, maybe like during what the midway to season two, season three, they need yeah. to like figure out, okay, what are we going to do for the next five years the show's going to run? We need to figure out something. Like Lost never needed, or uh, Breaking Bad never needed to do a restart, just kind no. of kept chugging along as best it could. They, they knew know. where they were going. Right, they kept chugging along. So I think, uh, as narratively, I, I love it. It's not my, my favorite show of mm-hmm. all time, but I think it's, it's definitely up there for me. Okay. It's really well done. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so that's what you thought of uh, the Breaking Bad uh, series finale. It's all over. Yeah, it's all <laughs> over. I know some, a lot of us are sad. I, yeah. I mean, I'm sad as well, but, you know, there's always other shows that are going to come on and yeah. hopefully uh, get, get hooked this to them good, as yeah. well. All right, yeah. Um, you can post your comments on the website or uh, this YouTube video below. Um, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is uh, Think Hero Pro. And you also can find us on Twitter. Mine's at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin DE. And we also have a Facebook page that's uh, facebook.com slash Think Hero Fans.